Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down there uh, to get the latest and greatest on Windows 10 how to videos and all that goodness. So today is all about enabling block suspicious behaviors in Windows 10. Kind of surprised Microsoft does not have this turned on by default, but hey, the option is there to turn it on. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So what you want to do is you could go inside your action center or go to your start menu and click on settings. For me, I went to action center and go into all settings and you want to click on update and security, window security, go to open window security and click on virus and threat protection. Now you could basically click on start and type in window security and it does this exact thing. But I'm hard headed. I like to do it the long way. Okay, sue me. So once you click on that, you're going to get this option right here. You want to locate manage settings. From there, you want to go all the way to the bottom and locate block suspicious behaviors. Now, again, like I said, by default, it is not turned on, which is kind of silly. But all you got to do is just slide it, turn it on. You're good to go. Uh, what it does, it prevents behavior by an app or file that might infect your device. Uh, Windows Defender will automatically quarantine it or delete it and keep your machine safe. How awesome is that? Now, when you turn it on, you're going to get this. Uh, you're going to get the user account control. You're going to click on yes. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.